Ever since the invention of the steam locomotive in 1802, trains have been a driving societal force. Invented in Britain at the height of the Industrial Revolution, steam trains gave the empire an unparalleled advantage in transporting goods and people. Soon it spread around the world as other nations scrambled to build their own railway networks to facilitate growth and commerce. But just as nations rushed to build more railways, they also tried to build faster trains. Japan's Tokaido Shinkansen, or bullet train in 1964, was the first high-speed rail system, achieving a speed above 200 kilometers per hour. Japan started the high-speed train revolution in earnest and is still at the top of the charts. The Maglev Train The most recent of Japan's high-speed bullet trains is the Maglev Train. Imagine traveling through the Japanese countryside at top speed. Your car's wheels don't even touch the ground. In fact, you are floating. This dream experience will soon come true thanks to Japan's famous Maglev Bullet Train, the fastest train in the world. The Maglev system was approved in the year 2009. It entered commercial construction the same year. The linear Chuo Shinkansen line is planned to link Tokyo and Nagoya by the year 2027. The trip is expected to take only 40 minutes, faster than either flying between the two cities or taking the one and a half hour trip on the current Tokaido line. The proposed route will include stops and stations in Shingawa, Sagamihara, Kofu, Lida, and Nakatsugawa. The primary objective of the Maglev bullet train project was to produce a train that could cover the route from Tokyo to Osaka in less than one hour. This will be achieved when the Maglev line is extended from Nagoya to Osaka expected to be in operation by 2045. One fascinating thing about this project is that 80% of the 286 kilometers maglev bullet train track will be located underground, passing under urban sprawl and mountainous terrain. One more fascinating thing about Japan's bullet trains is that they can keep going in an earthquake. Due to the high chance of a strong earthquake hitting the train network's power source, Japanese bullet trains have backup batteries. A new lithium-ion battery developed in 2019 provides an independent power source that allows the train to move slowly and steadily toward a safe tunnel if the main source is down. The project is expected to cost the equivalent of 55 billion US dollars. When completed, the train will include 16 carriages capable of holding 1,000 passengers. At present, members of the public have been invited to take part in maglev test rides. Tourists can also visit the SC Maglev Parkway in Nagoya or the Yamanashi Prefectural Maglev Exhibition Center near the town of Otsuki to learn more and view maglev test runs. So what is the technology behind the maglev trains? What makes these trains so special? What is the technology behind these insane speeds? Before we get the answers to these questions, please take a few seconds of your time to subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so. Also, remember to hit the like button and the notification bell. Now, let us proceed. When you break the word up into mag, lev, it becomes clearer that the term maglev is a combination of the words magnetic and levitation. Maglev trains, therefore, are trains that float or levitate over a track by harnessing the power of magnetic repulsion. Unlike a conventional train, a magnetic levitation train uses a special linear motor with no moving parts. Instead, it actually uses magnetic forces to both elevate the train and propel it forward. The magnetic force is created by the interaction between metal coils in the rails or guideways and the superconducting electromagnets on the train itself. The key benefit of this technology is that by levitating a train over its tracks, you eliminate wheel friction completely. Without friction to worry about, a magnetic train can reach incredibly high speeds and even operate normally at over 500 kilometers per hour. In fact, the fastest trains in the world all use maglev technology, with new records constantly being made. Another benefit is that they're environmentally friendly. While bullet trains are not as fast as planes quite yet, they are much better for the environment. Although these statistics do not take into account the emissions released during construction, high-speed Japanese trains consume 12.5% of the energy a plane requires and produce about 92% less carbon emissions per seat. How much the project will cost? The whole project, when finished, will cost somewhere in the ballpark of 52 billion US dollars. This includes 256 kilometers of tunnels, 12 kilometers of bridges, and slightly over 4 kilometers of rail beds, along with 14 new Series L0 maglev trains. 
While this may seem excessive to some, it's a much needed service. Japan's need for higher speed rail grows every year. Not only is their native population traveling more, but so are their tourism and foreign residents. Therefore, having a faster mode of public transportation will anticipate and handle the potential need for such services. Not everyone is on board. Many people in Japan who appeared for the test runs love the idea of the train. They like it, think it's exciting, and are waiting with bated breath for it to become operational. However, not all Japanese citizens find the idea of this new train favorable or desirable. For instance, in June 2020, construction was paused because of resistance from Shizuka Prefecture. While the details are not yet known, the Shizuka Prefecture denied access and further construction of the line. This setback has put the schedule on hold. However, 2027 is still the goal, despite all these setbacks. Regardless, Japan's bullet train has already gained global attention. There were talks about selling the technology to the United States and testing having a maglev train between New York and Washington, D.C. There are even prospects for places like Chicago and Miami as well. In recent years, plans have been in the works for a hyperloop in California between Los Angeles and San Francisco. This has an estimated speed of nearly 670 miles per hour. So the potential is already growing and gaining speed, in a matter of speaking. Whether or not these projects will come to be fulfilled is just a matter of time. We can only hope that they do. The world needs bullet trains and many more similar inventions.